Over the past week, I've researched the most popular websites and resources that you can use to learn how to code. In this video, I'll be breaking each one of them down, explaining the main services they offer and how they differ from one another. Let's get into it. I'll break down the platforms into four main categories. The first is interactive learning platforms. The main platforms we'll discuss under this category are Code Academy and Free Code Camp. There are many more under this category, but these are the most popular ones. Both platforms are similar in that they are both interactive-based learnings. Most of the courses they offer do not have video explanations. Instead, they've been broken down into smaller digestible chunks, comprising of lessons, projects, and quizzes for you to read and practice by yourself. They both have inbuilt web-based text editors and compiler, which is user-friendly. They also have forums where you can post questions if you're stuck and offer certificates you can add to your resume or your LinkedIn profile upon completion of a course. Drilling down into each one, Code Academy offers learning paths for both languages and subjects. They have courses that focus on teaching you a specific language and follow-up courses where you use the knowledge of that language to learn a job essential skill to pursue a career path or build projects to pursue the skill path. They also have subjects. You can think of subjects as major areas in programming. If you're looking to get into web development, mobile app development, machine learning, and more, they have courses tailored to those specific areas, most of which come with projects, which is really good. FreeCodeCamp offers a similar service. They have courses for each specific area path broken down into smaller digestible chunks as well. I didn't find courses for a specific language. However, they have a bunch of tutorials written by people that teach specific areas of a language. Some of these tutorials have links to videos, but most are articles. Code Academy has a few free courses. Access to the pro courses will cost you $20 a month while Free Code Camp is completely free. The next category is the video-based learning platforms. These are platforms like Udemy, LinkedIn Learning, Skillshare, and so on. These are platforms where independent creators can make a course and upload it to the platform. For example, say I want to teach Java, I can make a Java course and put it on any of these sites. It'll be my curriculum and I'll teach it the way I want to teach it. They are video-based, so there's a video recording of a person teaching you each concept. They're also coding, so you can code along with them. These platforms offer a variety of options. People have different teaching styles, so the idea is you browse around until you find an instructor you like. Skillshare and LinkedIn Learning use a subscription-based model where you pay a monthly fee and get access to all the courses. Udemy, on the other hand, is different. To access a course, you have to buy the course. LinkedIn Learning offers a certificate upon completion of a course, but Skillshare and Udemy do not. The third category are platforms that offer resources from professional learning institutions or companies. The popular platforms in this space are Coursera and edX. These are video resources as well, with the main difference being they are offered or associated with an accredited university or company. For example, this object-oriented programming course is offered by Duke University, and this algorithm course is offered by Princeton University. A few courses are free, but you have to enroll to access most of them. Some courses may take longer to complete because they are university courses designed for a full semester, but they're not as expensive as a college tuition. Companies like IBM and Google also offer a handful of courses. Upon completion of a course, you will get a certificate you can add to your LinkedIn profile or your resume. The final category is YouTube. I know some of you are questioning the logic behind why YouTube is in a category of its own and why it didn't merge it with the other video-based services. Of all the resources I've mentioned, YouTube has the most catalog and is completely free, if you don't mind watching a few ads here and there. Anything you want to learn with regards to programming can be found on YouTube. The other sites offer some free courses, but you'll have to pay for the pro-level courses. There are several creators whose channels are dedicated to just teaching. Koda Koda makes amazing front-end tutorials and explains every concept very well. Amigos Code makes amazing tutorials for several languages and architectural patterns. Programming with Marsh has been killing it for years on YouTube. His tutorials are in-depth and easy to follow. Back-to-back -back Swiss channels literally carried me through technical interviews, helping me understand how to tackle the tough questions. These are just some of them. There are other amazing content creators on YouTube you can learn from for free. The question then becomes, which one should you go with? That completely depends on your situation, that is, where you are in your coding journey and your preferred learning style. I don't have a preference for anyone. They are all great platforms. Code Academy offers the most structure and I think it's the most beginner friendly with the only drawback being there is no instructor to explain. You have to read the concepts and understand them by yourself. If you prefer having an instructor teach the concepts, then LinkedIn Learning is the best bang for your buck. It has tons of beginner courses and well-advanced courses as well. If you've learned the basics but want to dive into some more complicated topics, then Coursera or YouTube might work for you. 
People teach in different ways, so you have to find the creator or the course that works for you. All the platforms are beginner friendly and have intermediate and expert courses as well, so you can't go wrong with choosing one. It all depends on your learning style. The content on all the platforms are the same. The Java on Code Academy is the same Java on LinkedIn Learning. Just pick one and start. It doesn't matter which one. All that matters is that you start. Over time, I've learned that the hardest thing for many people to do is to start. In his book, Atomic Habits, author James Clare writes, it is easy to get bogged down trying to figure out the most optimal plan for change, the fastest way to lose weight, the best program to gain muscle, the perfect idea for a side hustle, and in our case, the best way to learn how to code. We are so focused on figuring out the best approach that we never get around to taking action. There is a big difference between being in motion and taking action. They sound similar, but they are different. When you're in motion, you're planning, researching, gaining new information. Those are all good things, but they don't produce results. Action, on the other hand, is the type of behavior that delivers outcome. I can watch a YouTube video trying to figure out the best way to learn how to code. That's motion. If I sit down, get a notebook and start learning how to code using one of the platforms, that's action. Motion is useful, but it will never produce an outcome by itself. It doesn't matter how many opinions or articles you read about the best way to learn how to code. That motion will never teach you how to code. Only the action of picking one of those methods, sitting down and learning will teach you how to code. Most of the time, performing the action teaches us way more than we would have learned from doing the research. For many people, your unwillingness to commit is manifesting as planning. Your fear of failure is being disguised as research. Your preparation is basically a form of procrastination and that's not good. You're stuck in a phase where you're in motion and you convince yourself that you're making progress, but you're not. It's a dangerous place to be in. In reality, you're preparing to get stuff done and not actually getting stuff done. There are two different things. Pick one of the platforms that sounds like it'll suit you. Pick a language, any language, doesn't matter which one, and start learning. There is no right way to learn and no knowledge is wasted. If one platform doesn't work out, switch and keep switching until you find one that works for you. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching and catch you on the next one. Until then, happy coding. Peace.